Now, let's create a view for the thumbnail layout this time. Before doing that, let's go to the getbootstrap.com to have a look. Components. Scroll down. On the right sidebar, there are many more components you can explore. We will explore thumbnail this time. Click on thumbnails. Scroll down. This is the layout we are going to create. Mind you that the thumbnail component will be removed from the bootstrap in version 4. It will be replaced by the card component. We go up. Click on bootstrap 4 is coming. So it tells you something about bootstrap 4. It says drop wells, thumbnails and panels for cards. As been in Bootstrap 4, there will be no thumbnails, panels, and wells. Instead, we will use cards component. Well, it's just another way of presenting a layout by playing with the CSS and HTML structure. So we will continue with thumbnail component. Let's go back to our Drupal site. Edit view. Let's scroll the view from this media object. Click here. Clone page media object. Now we'll update display name. Let's rename this media object to thumbnails. Apply. Layout. Title. Now we apply only to this page. Place again. Thumbnails. Scroll down. There are three fields here. Yes, that's what we want. We'll change the format instead. Change to Bootstrap Thumbnails. Again, apply only to this view. There's alignment you can choose either horizontal or vertical. We'll keep horizontal and number of columns. We choose three columns per row. Now I actually expect more settings here where I wish to configure on desktop to show three columns, on smaller screen to show two columns perhaps, but I believe these features will be added soon. Possibly this already added when you're watching this video. So let's apply. Let's click on Fields. We'll change it to Bootstrap Thumbnail and apply this. For image, we use Image Field, Title, Title Field, Content, we use body field. Apply. Now we will rearrange the fields a bit. I pull the image to the first. Again, apply to this view. Apply. So for image, now it's using media object. I think we need to create another one to cater for this. Let's close it. Let's go to configuration, media, image styles. Open in a new window. Let's create a new style. We create maybe good strap thumbnails. Create new style. Scroll down. Use the common one, scale and crop. Add. Let's use 400 times. 267. Since we need to cater for all screens, I will use this size. Feel free to set the size to your own preference, whichever you think best and practical for your case. You may want to learn something about the adaptive images using different image resolutions for different screens, like picture elements, so on and so forth, to make your website images fully optimized on different screens. But this is beyond our scope here. This tutorial mainly is to show you on how to create a bootstrap components with Drupal views. Alright, so let's proceed. Let's go back to our views. Image. We'll see bootstrap thumbnails. Choose this and apply. For the body. Rewrite result. We are using this the same with media object. So it's fine. For the path, change it to thumbnails. 
apply menu thumbnails apply I think that's all let's scroll down and preview that's good great let's save the views click on thumbnails that's great scroll down Now one more thing to do, let's put the thumbnails menu under articles. Let's copy main menu. Let's drag this under articles and save the configuration. Go to the front page, check it out. So we have articles, we have media object, good, we have thumbnails. That's great. Now there's one thing I love about this views bootstrap module is that it solves the unequal height issue which raised when each column or item in this layout has a driven height. You can see there's a driven height each item here. Now if you inspect element You will notice the module actually solving the problem nicely by wrapping up every three columns with a div tag of row class. So you have column one, column two, column three is wrapped up within a row. And you have four rows here. So that in this case, there will be no columns falling apart or drop to another row, even if each column's height is driven. The only limitation is that you cannot specify more breakpoints in the views. Like I want large screen with three columns and on a small screen with two columns. But I do believe this feature will soon be added or some kind of patches generated you can use. Possibly already added at this point of time when you are watching the video. However, I will also show you on how to resolve this later by building our own views without using views bootstrap module. So let's proceed.